Hello everyone, this is Antonio uh, from DronePros.com and today we're doing kind of a first look video. It's um, it's not, I guess it's not really brand brand new uh, fly controller. It's a controller that's been out for a while, but very few people have gotten their hands on it. Very few people have um, actually flown it uh, out there. You know, it, it's the, the main supplier for these are overseas, uh, not in China, but in Europe. And it, it, you know, shipping being very expensive and you have to buy it in euros and, you know, a lot of people don't want to uh, deal with that. So, <clears throat> this here is the new uh, KISS uh, flight controller. It's, it's actually, you know, I've heard a lot of great things about it. Not only heard, uh, just last weekend, I was actually, actually, you guys can see the video. It's, I believe, it's going to be uh, one, no, two videos before this video. If you look... Um, on the YouTube channel, you're going to be able to see it. It's a, a fun fly barbecue we had, and you can see the uh, pilot Ricky when it, towards the beginning of the video, maybe you know, I don't know, maybe two minutes into the video, uh, you'll see Ricky showing his MXP 200B, and he's actually running uh, this flight controller. And um, that's really when I first saw the flight controller, and when it really uh, grabbed my attention, I was really impressed. I've been flying RC helicopters, planes. Uh, for probably about 12, 13 years now, and you know, I'm I'm pretty much at the level where, you know, let's say in the helicopter world, when I did fly the helicopters, I could see your tuning and I could tell you exactly what was wrong with it as far as, uh, you know, the gyro, the gains being too high, gains being too low, and I notice, you know, tuning so many flight controllers, you know, we we build quite a few units, tuning so many of them, it's gone to the point where. I can see and hear someone flying and just by looking at it and listening to it, I can look at it and say, oh, your P's too high or your D's too low or your I needs to go higher, uh, you know, certain things like that. But um, so yeah, I really have an eye and a sound for, for you know, flight controllers and, and, and how the unit's actually reacting to it. So seeing the, this KISS flight controller in action, I was just amazed. I could see just a locked in feel. It, it's something that's very hard to explain. But it's something I was able to, to see right away. So I, I really wanted to see what, what this KISS flight controller was all about. Now, as of the time of this video, I have not flown this flight controller. I have not installed it. Obviously, you can see it uh, here. It um, has been installed, has been flown. So I will be obviously doing a video of um, some flight characteristics and, and, and a little bit more in-depth video. This is just kind of a, a first look. So <clears throat> obviously not having worked with the flight controller too much. I don't know too many details about it. Um, I've had guys ask if this is also a power distribution board as well as a flight controller. The answer is no, it's only a flight controller. Um, as far as how many motors it does, I believe it only does up to four. I could be wrong, could be six. Um, but like I said, this is, I have not messed with it uh, whatsoever. This is pretty much right out of the box, uh, what you get. And you can see it's a very, very, very small flight controller. I'm gonna, bring in the frame here an A32 just for size comparison it's the same exact uh, mounting you know any way you put it it actually looks longer this way but it's not it's the same mounting as a, an A32 and um, you can see it doesn't have um, at least in the package I didn't see any pins so you do have to solder everything on uh, it looks to also accept um, let me see it might I may be wrong but let me see yeah, it looks to also accept satellite spectrum. Um, like I said, I'm not sure about that. I do see, let's see. Well, if I turn it around, I can see, okay, there's a five volt ground there and a three volt ground there. So this is probably for your receiver. Now, I do know for a fact, you can see it has a big old regulator right there. This thing does run uh, pretty high voltages. I don't quote me on the exact voltage, but I know four cell it will accept a four cell for sure. I don't know how high the, the voltage it will accept, but I do know it'll do uh, power from your from your main battery without any issues. And that's probably why they did a five volt uh, output here. So that way you can uh, hook up your receiver to there as far as your uh, positive and negative, and you can just hook your, your signal wire to one of these. But you can see there's tons of uh, tabs here to solder on now. You may turn it around, this is upside down, and you may think these are just a mirror image of these. They're actually not. I believe motor one and two are hooked up up here, and motors three and four are hooked up down here. 
um, as well as a whole mess of other things. Like I said, I will get in a little bit more into detail when I install this. I'll be able to tell you guys a lot more things. But yeah, guys, I, I'm really, really excited to show you this flight controller in action. At DronePros.com, we will have these flight controllers in stock as well as the KISS ESCs, uh, the 24 amps to be exact. I've heard um, on the Facebook uh, groups, everybody's saying if you really want to take advantage of this controller, you pretty much have to get the KISS 24 amp speed control. So, of course, we're going to have those in stock as well. Of course, I'm going to be ordering one of those up or four of those up for a unit. Um, and yeah, guys, that's uh, pretty much it. Now, this flight controller, it doesn't use, for you guys that are familiar with uh, CC3D using Open Pilot GUI and uh, the Naze32 using Clean Flight or Base Flight, of course, but uh, you're all familiar with that GUI. This actually uses its own GUI. It actually looks very simple. I've barely messed with it, not not really into detail. No, it looks very, very easy. Um, it won't be hard to, to transfer if you're going from like a CC3D or a Naze, especially from a Naze. Um, but yeah, guys, so I really hope you guys enjoyed this quick look on this new uh, KISS flight controller that we are going to have in stock at dronepros.com as well. I'm going to be flying it, putting it uh, through the loops and showing you guys how it really performs. If you guys have any comments, be sure to leave them down in the box below. You can also email us, dronepros with a Z at the end at gmail.com. Once again, dronepros with a Z at the end at gmail.com. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Till next time.